Hi guys, welcome to Celeb Villa SA, where you get the latest news on all things trending and newsworthy. Now, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Itomeleng and Nota have been a hot topic recently after rape allegations had been made by Itu against Nota, where a case had been opened which led to Nota eventually handing himself over to the police, where he got bailed for 5,000 rands and further obtained a protection order against Itumeleng. Nota has continuously denied the allegations, maintaining that everything was consensual. With live videos and screenshots, recordings and texts being leaked, Itu remained quiet from her side and advised her fans to not worry about her, saying that she didn't want to comment on the matter at hand. Now that the noise has somewhat gone down, with the two parties opening cases against each other, Ito has finally come forward to let her people know that she is okay and also details the reasons why she has stayed silent, confirming that something did in fact happen. And I just did want to come out and tell you guys that I am okay. It's been hard. It's been really, really hard. Like, I'm not saying that it's easy, but I'm dealing. Um, so yeah man like it's 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 been such a challenge to me being exposed in such a way uh, my 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 personal life being out for for people to to pick apart and and come up with their own theories and 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 beliefs or whatever about the type of person that i am and everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i do want to just like remind people that sometimes the things that you read you read them without context and i'm not ready to provide the context just yet the reason why i'm keeping quiet it it's not to do with the fact that oh i'm afraid to come out and challenge what what has been said it's about the fact that i am this is a criminal matter you know i opened a case because this is a criminal matter not because i'm out here with the interest of destroying people or whatever something happened you understand you know so i went to the law because of something that happened to me something that is true but again, it is your opinion what you see or what you don't see, you understand? So I'm not here to, 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 to challenge that. My thing is just keep in mind that you don't have the full story. And, and there's certain things that you haven't seen and things that happen behind closed doors that you haven't been um, um, a witness to. But um, anyway, still, um, I don't want to give so much information out there that the person that I'm going up against knows exactly where my mind is at so that they can come up with whatever theories that they want to come up with come the day they have to go to court. I'm not going to give that person that kind of information. I'd rather they be blank so that they can tell the story that they've told all over social media over and over and over and over again so that the judge can deal with them as honestly as possible do you understand so i don't want to influence that process at all and that is why i'm keeping quiet i don't want to make things harder for the prosecution do you understand but in terms of like 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 how I've, i'm feeling about how everything has gone I'm, I'm i'm coming to terms with the fact that not everybody has to like me and I'm not a perfect person, do you understand? And I'm okay with that. Before I used to feel like, because I've been in, in the public eye since I was a child, I always felt that I needed people to be happy with me in order for me to be happy with myself. But this whole situation has challenged that, has challenged that, that part of me to the core where I've ha had to look and be like, shit, people don't like me. <laughs> And I'm just like, what am I going to do with that? And then I realized that actually it doesn't matter if people like you or they don't or they like, don't like you, whatever. And, and as a matter of fact, this is the first time my life has actually ever been balanced. It's healthy for, 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 for people to have some people that, that, that like you and some people that don't. Not everybody is going to like you, but this is the first time that this has happened to me in my whole life.
and i'm learning that that's okay and that it's it's natural it's balanced it's fine like you continue with your life and now it's also like they made me re-evaluate why i do things do i do things to please people or do i do things because you know there's there's a certain calling on my life do i do things because it's my purpose so it has it has forced me to sit down and just like redefine what my purpose is why am i here lord you understand so <laughs> yes and i talk to god you don't own god people make me feel like i'm not allowed to have a relationship with god because of what has happened in my life that is more so why i need that relationship with god because clearly i've made certain mistakes you know clearly i need to speak to god and be like you <laughs> what the heck did i do to get myself into this kind of situation but at the end of the day, what I need you guys to understand is that, again, when you see a situation planning out, don't make assumptions. I would not have gone and opened a criminal case if something criminal didn't take place. I have no interest in, in oh, guys, I don't want to say a lot. I don't want to say a lot. I really don't because... Mm -hmm. Because people will take it and fly with it. Because so, clearly we've seen how, how sensational the papers can get. And, and not even the papers. The papers have actually been quite neutral. It's more the social media spaces. Which is a given. Because Vela Vela people like drama. And I understand that my life is now... It's entertainment. People are very much detached from the reality of the situation that's happening. And you don't feel what I'm feeling. And you don't understand like how... <laughs> But it's, it's, it's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad because I feel like if I was in that position as well, I'd be just as entertained. Or I'd also want to give my opinion. And I'd also like analyze the way that I want to analyze. And it's just that's just the nature of how the machine works. It just so happens that the, the topic that is being discussed is my topic and my life. And it's okay. It's fine you know so i was also a bit relieved when now our the, the topic was going dying down a little bit now we're talking about casper casper's going through the most but i'm also just like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, shaman casper <laughs> but at the end of the day like people are always gonna be involved magnet drama about macon especially in a country like south africa one of the most dramatic people that ever existed so i understand now i'm part of that machine when shit goes down everybody's just like Who? who's will hey god 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 so i i understand it's how that i understand but at the end of the day, please do understand, Jorge, as much as it's, it's, it's drama, it might be entertaining for some people, there's actual real life happening here and an actual real crime has taken place. And, and um, even if they don't prosecute, don't assume it's because there was a lie that was told. Sometimes they don't prosecute because they just don't have enough evidence to, 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 to prosecute. Because when you prosecute something, it has to be beyond reasonable doubt. So if a story that they tell is somewhat likely, even possible, by the slightest minute detail, still they cannot prosecute because it's not beyond reasonable doubt, unfortunately. So... I'm gonna go to court. I'm gonna try by, by all means to give them the entire story of what happened right from the beginning until the end and try to offer as much evidence as possible. But I cannot predict what the outcome of this case will be. But all I know is that I am not telling a lie. Those who feel like I'm telling a lie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not you know so but again you are entitled to your own opinion and to your own beliefs i'm not here to 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 challenge that but for everybody that's just worried about me i'm okay i'm dealing it's such it's life guys it's life like not everything is gonna be perfect i'm not expecting everything to be perfect my face looks damn perfect right now it is but <laughs> sorry guys i'm still a clown allow me to be myself i've always been this way you people want to stop me from 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 still having it's like they want me to go throw myself into the titanic or something and just die guess what i'm not gonna die i'm just not i'm god said i mustn't die so i'm not gonna die so i'm gonna continue being the goofy same self that i've been you try to take that away from me you try to make me afraid but it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen keep trying 
it's not gonna happen sorry so yeah i'm gonna continue living my life still gonna make music i'm still gonna do me because why not no i'll see you guys at the end of the trial i just pray that god is with me and that the prosecution can see what happened not in the way that people analyze they must analyze uh, use the law not use opinions not use favoritism and not use money